Hello, my name's Noelle Kelch, and I'm your host today in this installment of Did You Know? When we're cleaning clinical contact surfaces, we can't use any of these materials. The label that I'm looking for has to be precise. It has to tell you about the EPA product that you're using. I wanted to find out if you knew that you cannot buy a product that is clinically relevant and has efficiency claims at your grocery store. Yep, not even at those big box stores. It's important to make sure that your bottle has an EPA registration number on it. And you have to choose the right product for cleaning clinical contact surfaces. Do you know that the EPA has to approve the disinfectant that you use? There will be an EPA number on the side of the bottle if it is registered with the EPA. You also have to follow the directions that come along with this. One of the big parts of those directions is where it says directions for use. It is in violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with the labeling. The labeling is also going to remind you of two of the most important steps that you do on a daily basis, and that is cleaning and disinfecting. Don't mix chemicals unless it says it on the label. You could be creating a toxic mess in your own dental environment. For example, if you mix bleach based products with ammonia based products, you create chloramine gas that can kill you. You don't want to make your own wipes either. The bleach in a two by two could render your product useless. Train all your staff to follow label directions and then follow them. One of the directions that's very important is protecting you. Remember, even if it doesn't say it on the label, OSHA says that you have to wear chemically resistant utility gloves and personal protective equipment when working with chemicals, not patient exam gloves. Until next time, it makes a difference to know. Thank you for being out there and thank you for keeping patients and staff safe. Total Care is bringing you a monthly series of fun and interesting ways to help you in your personal and professional setting. So stay tuned for next month's infection control video.